Shevchenko, a native of Kyrgyzstan, gave the soon-to-be champion everything she could handle in a fight that Nunes barely won in March 2016. Will she have more success in the rematch? At heart, Nunes is a mean, dangerous finisher who likes to stay in her opponent's face. Her killer instinct is off the charts, but she's vulnerable to draining her gas tank as she tries to finish her foe. Shevchenko is the opposite, a calm, even-keeled striker with boatloads of technical skill and the discipline to stick to her game no matter what. The basic dynamic of the fight gets Nunes' aggression against Shevchenko's patience. Nunes is at her best when she's dictating the action, stalking her opponent and tossing out long-range strikes to draw out a response that she can counter. Here's an example from her title-winning effort against Misha Tate last July. I. Nunes vs Shevchenko rematch at UFC 213. What is the UFC women's bantamweight division without Ronda Rousey? We'll find out at UFC 213 this Saturday in Las Vegas. Amanda Nunes defended her title for the first time in December by stomping Rousey in just 48 seconds. That outcome cemented once and for all that Rousey, the superstar who built the division from the ground up, represented the past rather than the present or the future. That doesn't mean the division should just close up shop, though. Nunes will have a capable challenger on her hands Saturday in Valentina Shevchenko, an elite kickboxer with reams of experience against the best strikers in the world. She even holds three wins over UFC women's strawweight champion Joanna Jedrick-Suchchik under Muay Thai rules.